Welcome back to the Nanaimo Now channel. I'm your host, Guay Lao 60. I'm here in Bowen Park. I just drove over here. And uh, I, was, I was over at Superstore. I was going to get gas. 2099 for regular. And I, because I drove down Bowen on my way there, I saw a place where it said 2069. So I thought, fuck this shit, I'm not saying 2099. So, you know, they, they say, oh, we'll give you points and stuff. Well, that may be true, but uh, uh, paying more for my gas at this point, thanks Trudeau with the, the carbon taxes and all of that other stuff that goes along with it. But I thought, no, I'm not gonna do that. So I, I go back to Bowen and I'm driving down Bowen and I see the co-op and it's 2069. So I go in there and I think at 2069, I'm only gonna put 40 bucks in because I, 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 I know it's gonna go down type thing, eh? So uh, I put 40 bucks in and I'm driving down Bowen and uh, lo and behold, Husky 2039. So you people out there in Nanaimo, you watch where you're buying your gas because I think they're screwing us around here, you know? It used to be that Super Saver on Bowen was a, a penny less than everywhere else and everywhere else was exactly the same. That doesn't apply anymore. So watch where you buy your gas. Husky is the cheapest gas that I found in town at 2039. The Shell on Bowen is 2099, same as Superstore. And uh, the Chevron, I think, was 2069. So, uh, but that's not what this video is about, so stay tuned. So you're probably wondering, well, what is this video about? Well, this Bill C-11, and, and you know, I'm not a very political guy, but it is beautiful out today, so I figured that I'd do this video outside, uh, get out of the studio for a, for a chance. Well, Trudeau spent $675 million plus uh, bribing the CBC to tell only good things about the Liberal government and all of their policies, and you can see where they're biased against the, the Conservatives. They uh, put up with the NDP because the NDP are uh, in the back pocket of the Liberal uh, uh, government at this point and I think they will be because Jagmet and Justine have a, uh, a bromance going on I'm not sure why but it is what it is and uh, now that Pierre Polyev's in the arrive can is gone uh, you know no more uh, forced vaccinations no no more of the the COVID-19 rules and regulations that they used to have well that's as of uh, September 30th I think or October 1st does that mean all of the people that were fired because they didn't take the vaccine are gonna get their jobs back uh, but again I digress I, I wanted to tell talk to you about this bill uh, c11 why is it why is the the federal government so adamant about putting in this Bill C-11 and uh, regulating online streaming. YouTubers like yours truly here at the Nanaimo Now channel or uh, the Guaylao 60 channel, that uh, the, the, my other channel. We want to promote Canadian content. What's Canadian content? Because I'm a Canadian and I do a whole bunch of uh, videos around the world in Thailand and Malaysia, mostly in, in mainland China, but I, I talk about the Chinese thing even when I'm in Canada on, on that channel. Is that Canadian content? Because I'm a Canadian, but if I'm abroad, is that still Canadian content? You know, uh, if, uh, if it was written by a Canadian and uh, on an American channel, is that Canadian? Like, they don't tell you what Canadian content is, they leave it up to the CRTC. If this thing actually comes into force, the CRTC will be able to not only tell the licensed, the Netflix of the world, the, the, the YouTubes, the, the, the uh, Douyings or the, well I guess there's no Douying here in Canada, but uh, uh, you know the Amazon Prime to whatever the the ones that have the licenses the the newsrooms the the CBC and the the CTV and whatever uh, they regulate them now and if they don't do what the CRTC tells them to do they can levy fines against them now with this bill C11 they will be able to do the same thing to somebody like me that has no license in Canada, doesn't require a license, but I can still be uh, regulated by the CRTC and uh, told what I can and cannot put on my streaming platform. And if I do not listen to them, they can levy fines against me. Uh, basically shutting us up if we don't tell you what, I guess, 
they want you to say <laughs> you're not allowed to do this you're not allowed to do that okay well that's that's fine so why would the liberal government be doing this because they've got the the mainstream media in their back pocket because they paid them off well social media is a powerful tool and I don't think the the liberal government when they were paying off the CBC understood that uh, social media could be such a powerful tool and you saw it with the Pierre Polyev uh, run for the leader of the Conservative Party how that social media sort of boosted him into into 68.15 percent in the in the in the voting which is which is good so I think what's what's going on here is the Liberal government is understanding that this is a powerful tool and we want to be able to uh, control it like we can control the mainstream media and the only way to do that is to have the CRTC have control over it and they say the CRT is at an arm's length from the the government in charge well tell that to uh, people that were dealing with the SNC SNC Lavalin uh, uh, fiasco there and uh, you know the Attorney General and uh, keeping an arm's length from the legal system we know how that works and and when they get caught doing something stupid like that they get a slap on the wrist and there is no uh, there is no penalty for stuff like that for the ruling elite class that we have here in Canada. So uh, once we lose, if, if this goes through, it's, it's uh, passed the, the House, it hasn't passed the Senate yet, but if it passes the Senate and becomes law here in Canada, well, um, the voice of the Canadian people have been silenced and it was all done with the, with the idea that we're here to make more Canadian content. Well. I don't want to see an old lady in Sault Ste. Marie telling you how to bake cookies on YouTube. I just don't want to see that. I want to see stuff that impacts my life, like the gas prices here on Vancouver Island, uh, like the carbon taxes, like uh, the, the, the political bullshit. Oh, and, and we've got uh, an election for city council and uh, an education here on Vancouver Island well around BC I think is it's it's everywhere and uh, people you see the signs everywhere along the thing I don't know who to vote for but I will tell you one thing if there was a candidate out there running for mayor that said like the the mayor in Cranbrook saying if there's homeless people and they need help we should help them and and that's the way it should be but if there's homeless people out there that are they're, they're creating mass havoc or creating crimes around the city uh, are um, on drugs and and just doing bad things they should be arrested they should put be put in jail they should be uh, put through treatment centers they should be dealt with as criminals if they're if they're doing crimes and here on Vancouver Island it just seems like anybody can do whatever the hell they want and nobody goes to jail and nobody gives a, a rat's ass what's going on and uh, the people of the city the taxpayers of the city are the ones that are taking it on the chin and I think we need a stronger city council uh, somebody that's a little bit more uh, like uh, that sheriff, what's that sheriff down in Texas that uh, had all of those boot camps for the for the bad kids and stuff? We need that. We need that kind of shit here in Nanaimo. I think right across Canada, we're getting too woke. We're getting too uh, uh, la di da in dealing with this stuff, putting it off on somebody else. The the province won't do anything. The city needs the province's help. The province says we need the feds' help. We need as the feds are raising taxes and. And, and making it more difficult for people to survive in their houses, interest rates, and go, holy smokes, I could go on for hours, but I'm not going to. But uh, with this CRTC thing and, uh, and the, the liberal push on it, now you've got the Netflix of the world and you've got uh, the Americans saying, well, geez, if you do this, this is going to impact our businesses in Canada, like Netflix, like YouTube and, and uh, you know Amazon Prime to you know all these streaming outlets that make like millions and millions and probably billions of dollars off us Canadians and now uh, that content will have to have a different algorithm to show more Canadian content and uh, they say that's not fair because the internet is supposed to be open and and fair for everybody as a youtuber I'm, I'm against the C11 it's this is just stupidity uh, times 10 but uh, now that opens up 
other businesses, other other categories in Canada, business categories, uh, import, export, whatever, uh, for tariffs by the United States, by the Americans. You don't think the, the, the Brits are going to do the same thing? You don't think other countries around the world, if they get throttled in, in this and they have to, and they lose a bunch of cash on it, you don't think that they're going to make a, 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 a set of tariffs against Canadian companies? that uh, is sort of going to offset that that loss in cash and face yeah so uh, when it comes to uh, the Canadian government getting involved in the internet and telling you what you can and cannot what you can and cannot do on the internet within reason you know like uh, you know violence and whatever it, 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 that's already basically banned but when when you get into uh, them trying to tell you what you can and cannot watch on the internet I think they've overstepped their bounds like they have over and over and over again and they're telling you that it's good for you well it's not good for you it's only good for them because then there's nobody out there telling you about what they think about the policies that the Liberal government is, is, is spewing because it's not just good for you. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Here in Bowen Park, paid 206.9 for gas. I could have got 203.9 for gas. And, uh, you know, nowadays every little bit counts. Anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, push that share button. Don't forget to resubscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and uh, put a couple bucks on the Patreon account. It's up in the top corner of uh, my main page it it helps make these videos because they're time consuming and the editing and the software and the lights and the the, the equipment the cameras and this all of the stuff costs money so uh, help out thanks for watching peace out bye now